hello and welcome to another rpa tutorial video today in this video we are going to understand work queues in power automate desktop so this tutorial video will give you idea about how to process queue item with real-time example so i have already created a video where i have explained about what is queue how to create queue and how to add item into the queue but this video will be a continuation from the first video and here we are going to use the data which we have uh, added into the queue in previous video to see how we can process the data from the queue so this video will be helpful to understand everything but make sure you are watching the first video and the link is available in the description section all right before start please support us by subscribing this channel and if you think this video is helpful and informative then click on the like button okay now let's start so last time we have created this salesforce uh, dispatcher queue and in the queue we can see we have some queue item available so if i open any of the queue item so there we can see some input data the first name last name description country state etc etc so we are going to based on the process requirement we are going to read the data from the queue and we are going to update into the salesforce so in salesforce what we have to do the bot will log into the salesforce and it will create the customer details here into the salesforce so this queue if you see the queue in details we have several stages available like queue processing processed on hold expire etc etc so in this tutorial video we are going to see how we can pick the data which is available in the queue and how we are going to process into the salesforce so there may be uh, some scenario where you can get some system exception or a business exceptions so how to handle those things we are also going to understand for this video we are going to understand the business exception part and the success uh, part okay in our upcoming video i will uh, show you some demo where we can understand this uh, system exception and other uh, uh, available options okay so now i'm going back to salesforce one, once again and here the bot will pick the data from the queue and it will create the customer account okay so in salesforce in case if the same customer detail is already available then it will throw the error as duplicate record so our bot is going to check it if the customer is already available or not so in case if it is not available and the bot is able to create the account into the salesforce for a particular customer then it will update the queue status as uh, success and we can pass some comment like you know the customer account has been created or updated similarly if any of the account which is already exist in the system then we will mark that uh, record as a business exception and we can pass some comment so this is the um, requirement which we are going to do in this uh, particular tutorial so let's see so i am into the uh, power automate desktop and here we can see i have created uh, two tasks login to salesforce and another task which is uh, create contact data okay so we are going to utilize these two tasks to save some time but first let's understand how we can read the data which is available in the queue in order to process work queues you have to choose this option process work queue item and from here you have to select the work queue name for our case the salesforce dispatcher is a work queue and the output for this queue will be produced by this variable called work queue item now let's click on the save button so if i run this so let me put a breakpoint and run this so let's see what information this work queue item variable is going to produce so let me run it and see okay so we can see here this variable got updated now we can see like the queue id work queue and the priority and other informations along with that we can see the value so value value is basically the input data which is present here so that also we can see it so now let me stop this now 
the thing is like this work queue item variable will produce output in the form of json so in order to read data we have to convert that json into custom object okay so let's see how it can be done and the good thing about this uh, using this process queue item is so this process will run until all the work item is processed okay so this is the inbuilt uh, features which is available with this work queue options because no need to keep any loop to process all the records so this will um, loop through all the record which is present in this particular queue so now let's go ahead and use this json and we need to convert that json into the custom object and we are getting this json data into this work queue item so what we have to do we have to select this work queue item and the data is actually present under the value so we have to put that dot value and the output for this particular uh, json convert json to custom object uh, action will store into this json as custom object let's click on the save and now let's quickly run this and see okay now if you see this so we can see here now we are getting this first name last name so now from here we can easily read the data and pass it to the salesforce okay now let me stop this so by this way we can easily fetch any data which is present in particular queue and after that we can use this convert json to custom object action to convert that data into the json and after that we can easily get this uh, json value so only thing is we need to pass the uh, the key or a, a column name like name last name whatever you want to pass it so that can be done so the, okay now the next step is we need to pass the information into this create contact because we have the task which will log into the salesforce and the another task where we need to pass all the information if i go to the salesforce and if i click on the new so we have to put all the informations which is present here and we are getting those data from the queues so let me quickly do this and we will see what are the rest action which we need to add it So here only you need to pass the key so for example the first name so i need to just pass as first name and similarly i have to do it for other uh, steps Okay, once we update all the uh, record then we have to click on this save and new button and after that once we click on the save button so there may be two things either it will save successfully or it will throw the error in case if the customer is available in the system then it will throw the error as duplicate customer or duplicate record found so i have just kept another check okay so it will uh, check for uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, error okay if it is a duplicate then it will assign into this attribute a value variable okay so now next is so this subtask will perform this action now let's save this now we have to call this task with our main task because we need to pass the data through this uh, particular create contact task so now let's map this task with our main task so in the main task i am going to use this run flow to call that salesforce task and here we are going to call another task which is create contact so let's add here and select this create contact okay so now this last step will be the check to understand whether this uh, record is processed successfully or not right so if i open this task so this attribute value variable will hold the output actually it will give you the output 
exactly it's i mean it's a blank or if it it will have any error then it will give you that information so it will loop through all the records and it will update uh, this uh, sales pro force data line by line so what we are going to do we are going to put a conditions okay and after this only and we are going to use the variable called attribute value so let me look for that value okay so let's add that and i'm just putting if this contain duplicate value it means uh, the record is already present okay so anyway we'll see that uh, actual uh, uh, error okay when we run the code okay so now we are in this condition so this condition will help us on understanding whether it process or not so here we are going to if this has duplicate it means this should go as a business exception based on the business uh, requirement if not then it will mark that uh, queue item as success so let's go and check for else and let's add a else here now we are going to use a set variable options to set the the value so i'm going to create a variable called queue status and we are going to pass the value here as like business exception and we'll part pass a notes as a customer already exist in the database let's click on the save okay now same thing we are going to add in the else condition so let's put a else condition and this else condition will be our success okay so we are just going to put a or uh, let's put like completed okay so we have to select this option update work queue and here we can see status what status you want to change okay so for first condition i want to change to the business exception and here i will pass that status so let's see that status queue status will pass this one now similarly we are going to update the status for our else part and here we are going to change this status to uh, processed okay now let's quickly save this okay so if you understand this so first bot will log into the salesforce and it will fetch the item which is present in the queue and after that it will convert that uh, json uh, data to custom object and after that we are just using this create uh, contact task to fill the data into the salesforce and in case if any data is already present it will throw the business exception and if the uh, data is uh, like you know created successfully then our bot will mark the status as successful so that's what we are going to uh, do for this task to so now let me go to the queue and change the queue status to uh, uh, queued in case if any of the yeah for this customer the we have tried testing so it changed the status got changed to processing so now let's change to queue so first you have to select any other options then the queue will be enabled so let me do this okay so everything is set now now let me remove uh, this breakpoint so bot can run independently now let me log out from the salesforce as well let's close this okay now let's see how it's working so we can see this record is already exist so it will update the status as business exception so we'll see once this run is completed
Okay, so this process uh, runs successfully. Now let's go to the queue and refresh it and see the status. Okay, so if you see here, we can see this uh, the processed item is showing as four, and the business exception is showing as one. So here also, we can see the status as process, process, and the business exception. If you come here and if you open this, so it will give you the high level. Uh, uh, information so we can see here so this particular record got uh, business exception and you can see the comment which we uh, updated there like business exception customer already exists and if you want to check the comment for other task which got processed successfully and you can see here this completed and the customer uh, information added into the database so by this way we can process uh, the item from the queue so this video i haven't included any of the exception handling but in next video we are going to uh, add uh, some exception handling to understand how to handle unknown error as well as uh, like you know the known errors because this was the scenario where we know if the customer is already exist then it will uh, go to the business exception but we don't know what type of exception may come when we run the process and that should uh, go to the it exception and how to handle those things we are going to learn in upcoming video so i hope this video is helpful and able to understand how to process data from work queue and in case if you have any question or any suggestions so kindly go ahead and post in comment section or you can mail us as well. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video.